Across uh, Lifetime correspondent Emmanuel Shash is standing by. Emmanuel, can you talk us through the reactions that have been pouring in? Of course, uh, some are saying that these results were rather surprising. They were surprising indeed, and not least because the outgoing premier uh, of Thuringia uh, was actually, uh, came actually uh, out first uh, during the last elections in October with 31% of the votes. He was followed uh, by the AFD. His party was followed by the AFD with 23% of the votes. And then the Conservatives came third with 21% uh, of the votes. Now, uh, what happened came as a, a shockwave uh, throughout uh, German political class and also throughout German society because it is simply the first time in Germany's modern in modern uh, Germany's uh, history uh, that uh, the that mainstream parties actually accept uh, to collaborate with a far right uh, party so very strong reaction throughout uh, German society not least that of uh, uh, defense minister Annegret Kramp Karrenbauer who's also the designated successor of Angela Merkel uh, she called out to the uh, local uh, Thuringia uh, conservative uh, party because they simply haven't uh, followed the guidelines, the consensus uh, within mainstream party to not collaborate, to not cooperate uh, with uh, parties such as the uh, AFD. Uh, on the uh, further on the right uh, side uh, of the political spectrum, Jörg Meuthen, who's the uh, co-leader of the AFD, was uh, very happy about this uh, outcome because uh, he said, I quote, that uh, there is less distance between the liberal democrats, the conservatives and the AFD than there is uh, with those parties, with the uh, other uh, parties. Now, uh, protests uh, have erupted not only in Thuringia, in front of the uh, Thuringian parliament, but also here in Berlin, in front of the uh, Liberal Democrats headquarters. People are showing uh, their anger at that result tonight. I think, Emmanuel, the big question on everyone's lips now is what happens next? Well, uh, Thomas uh, Kemmerich, who has uh, been uh, the Liberal uh, Democrats, who has been uh, elected uh, Minister President of uh, Thuringia, tried to reassure uh, people by uh, saying uh, that uh, no, uh, that there was not a nonce of uh, him that would ever uh, cooperate uh, with uh, any uh, radicalist party, any uh, party from the extreme right on the extreme uh, left, or uh, with any fascist uh, party. But that simply wasn't enough. He was booed in the uh, assembly during his commencement uh, speech, and uh, one of the left representatives in Thuringia refused uh, to even congratulate uh, him. Now, uh, the German media also uh, agitated the spectrum of a huge political crisis here in Berlin, because if the Conservatives actually cooperated in Thuringia against the guidelines of the Federal Party, then that means that we have a very uh, weak uh, Conservative Party in Germany. And if the if, uh, if the party is weakened at a federal level, then that could also mean that there could be trouble uh, for uh, the federal uh, coalition between the Conservatives and the Social uh, Democrats, a coalition that has already endured many uh, critical moments uh, since it came uh, into power. So tonight, a lot of soul-searching uh, to do, not only in German political party, but within uh, German uh, society. The future of the coalition does indeed hang in the balance. Emmanuel Schaas reporting for us from Berlin.